All right, y'all, here we go. Some smoked barbacoa, birria tacos. Look at that loveliness. Man, what are you talking about? Got a nice bowl of consomme to dip them in. Let's eat, y'all. My goodness. Alright y'all, it's Tuesday, so we're going to finish these tacos up, uh, we're going to go ahead, bring that meat in, we're going to put that chili sauce over it, put it back out on the grill, and uh, we'll let the temperature come up, we let the temperature come up to about 200, 208, uh, we chopped the meat up, and made our media tacos with the smoked barbacoa, man you talk about good, y'all y'all finish checking this out, alright? Let's do it. All right, y'all, to start with, got about a two and a half pound chuck roast, so that's not a very big one. Just a small to medium size chuck roast. So I'm gonna make up some Mexican flavored or Mexican style barbecue rub to go along with this. So this is gonna be pretty simple. So first thing, we're gonna go with about a quarter cup of salt. So I have some kosher salt here, crystal. Quarter cup of salt. All right. Then I got some fresh ground black pepper. I'm gonna put a large heaping tablespoon black pepper. Got some ancho chili powder good stuff there I'll put a tablespoon of that in there let me come around over here so you all can see put a tablespoon heaping garlic nice tablespoon little granulated onion another tablespoon there we go add some paprika for a little color teaspoon of paprika a little more Then we'll go about a teaspoon of oregano. Come around here. Whoop. About a teaspoon. So we'll give that a rub rub. Bring the flavor out. All right. Mix this around. Nice, nice. And we'll get this chuck roast rubbed down. All right. So, in keeping with today's theme, our Tex Mex theme, we're going to use some uh, hot sauce, some Mexican hot sauce, some tapatio for a binder. So, Get some tapatio on here, get her spread around. All over, top, bottom. I ain't gonna worry about trimming any of this fat off. I want this fat on here. Gotta have nice taco grease at the end of the day. All right, so I want to get our tapatio on there nice. We'll get our rub. Okay, come on high. Get our rub on here. It's a thick piece of meat. So be generous. All edges. All 
All right. So like I said, I'm going to put this on the uh, cooker. I only want to bring this up to about 165 degrees, which is not done. 165 will get a good smoke on it. That's my goal. Uh, we'll take it off, put it back in this pan with some, uh, we're going to make up some chili sauce. Throw some onions in there, some more garlic, and uh, we'll cover it with foil. Get it back on the cooker until it's done. All right, y'all, my cooker's been preheating for about 30 minutes. So we got her up to 250. So let's get the meat on. All right. So we'll take our chuck roast. Put her on here. So. To do the comparison, I've got my meat stick. You can see that. So what you want to do is take your meat stick to the center of the meat, all the way in. So you don't want to see no silver, okay? I'm also going to take the probe from the uh, that comes with the char griller. So we're going to do a little comparison here, and we'll put that in here. Now let's go over here. All right, kind of straight. All right. So both probes are in. We'll close her down. All right, y'all, we got the meat stick in. We got the app running. So our target temp right here, 165 degrees. The actual temp of the meat is 55 degrees. So we're wanting to bring this up to uh, 165. All right, y'all, to get my sauce ready for my taco meat. I've got two new hot New Mexico chilies, dried New Mexico chilies. I got two guajillo chilies or three guajillo chilies, <clears throat> two dried ancho chilies, and about four chili diablo. This will give a little extra heat right here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, tear these open, get the seeds out, and I'm gonna put them in some hot water some boiling water and let them steep for about a half an hour and then we'll get the sauce made up. All right then, so the water's boiling. <clears throat> we put all our chilies in. New Mexico chilies or Diarbo chilies. Now, I seeded everything except the Diarbos because I want the heat, okay? The anchos everything in make sure it's submerged good bring it back to a boil all right so what we're going to do shut the flame off and let that sit for about 15 to 30 minutes all right, y'all, the meat is almost up to 165, so we're going to go ahead <clears throat> and make our chili paste. So our chilies are, have been soaking for about half an hour, 45 minutes. So we're going to take those and put them in our blender. These have been sitting in here softening. Put them in the blender. Make sure you get them all, a little bit of juice, a little bit of the soaking water. All right. I believe that's it from there. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're going to add some garlic. I'm just going to smash it. Here we go. 
I ain't gonna cut it up too much. Blender will take care of it. Always nice to give the blender a little help. Here we go. Four cloves of garlic. About a quarter of a large onion. On in. Now I'm gonna use some. Uh, this is better than bouillon. Okay. So we're gonna put. So this is beef, better than bouillon. So about a tablespoon down inside. Put a little bit of the cooking liquid or the uh, soaking liquid in there. All right. We want to blend this up pretty good. All right. Because this is a paste I'm going to go over our meat. So, got this on low. There we go. Get her going. Alright, what I'm going to do, that beef bouillon should have added some salt. Let's see what that's going to need in the salt. Alright, we'll give it a little taste. Oh no, that's perfect. <clears throat> so we're going with that. So as soon as our meat hits 165, we're going to bring it in. We're going to cover it with the chili paste. And a little water. And then we'll put it back on until it cooks down and falls apart for our taco mm. meat. Take a peek at this hunk of meat. It's looking really good. So, Thermapen says, let me stick this in over here. 162, 163. So that's pretty accurate. All right. All right then. So let's get this barbacoa slash bidia. So what I'm gonna do, This chili paste is pretty thick. We're going to thin it out with some beef stock. Now, what I'm going to do with this, change the angle a little bit. Got some chopped onion. I'm lay that in there. Got some more chopped garlic. Now, I got some fresh roasted hatch chilies. So we're gonna take these, chop them up. Not a lot. We'll save some of those for something else. All right. We'll put them in there. Nice. Now we'll take our chili sauce. This is gonna make our consomme. Pour it on over. We'll put it all in there. There we go. Take and stir this around a bit. Give us another little taste. Yummy. So now, 
We're going to seal this. Put it back out on the cooker. All right, so I put another piece of foil on top of it. Got the meat probe. Probably ain't going to see this on my phone camera. So the meat down there says 158. The cooker's at 144. So let's close this down. And wait for it to get up over 200 degrees. I'm going to pull it out and make some tacos. All right, y'all. According to the Gravity 980 app, we're at 208. All right, we're going to let this sit here and rest for about 30 minutes. Then we'll take it out, chop it up, make some tacos. All right, this barbacoa bedia has been resting for a little while. So I'm going to take the meat out. Oh man, it smells good. Nice and smoky. Like the chili peppers. Alright. See if we can get this thing out of here without having a disaster. Let it drip off a little bit. Put it on this plate, on this platter. Very nice. So now what I'm going to do, look at that. Here. Let that video stay hot. Now we'll make our tacos. So, for some tacos, I should need a whole lot of it. Here we go. So we've got this nice little piece here. The rest of it will freeze. Man, this looks good. Little chop. That's good. All right, we'll set this to the side. All right, so. Corn tortillas, three. Three of these tacos is about all I'm going to be able to take. Got our barbacoa media. Got some pepper jack cheese. Raw onion and cilantro. There we go. All right. So, we'll come over here. Got the skillet warming up. So, I'm going to do a little olive oil spray just a little bit so I got my pot back here my consomme let this get hot so I'm gonna take my tortilla I'm gonna dip it in the consomme so I can get that taco grease off the top two and three These cook up a little bit. Check my heat. Don't want this too high. A little flip. Now, take a slice of Monterey pepper jack cheese. some of my barbacoa now just to make me happy get a little bit of our consomme pour some consomme inside there Alright. 
give these a little fold. Piece of meat up on there. All right. Let's go ahead and turn these over. Looking mighty fine. Got a little bit of meat left here on the cutting board. Put that down in there. Very little onion, cilantro. All right, consomme. These tacos are about ready. They don't take long once you get to this point. There we go. All right then, let's get them on the plate. Yummy, for my tummy. All right, so you wanna finish them up? Look at that. Little onion. Some cilantro. Open this up. Little onion. Little cilantro. Do the same thing to this last one. Oh my god, that looks so good. Little onion. Cilantro. Alright. Here we go. Birria barbacoa. With consomme. Alright y'all, check it out. Here we go. Smoked barbacoa. Tacos, Bedia, got the consomme. So, check out that taco, man. Ooh, I'll tell you what, I'm ready for this. So, down in the consomme, get it stirred up. Got all the onions and cilantro in it. Y'all ready for this? Look at that. I know y'all want a bite of that. Taste! Y'all, <clears throat> made me want to cry. <laughs> you talk about good. We got a restaurant down the street, La Fiesta. They got some killer birria, birria tacos, but these are smoky, tangy, little bite. Consomme is killer. Cheese. I gotta do it one more time, y'all. Taste. Mmm. My goodness. That is so good. Choo choo. Good little bite. Mm -hmm. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video. That stuff is just too good. Got me sweating a little bit. Put the Diablo peppers in with the uh, chili sauce. 
So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up down below. Any questions, comments, put them right down there. And if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. Y'all won't regret it. And I'm going to finish my dinner. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.